Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Optimized Hardcore. Um, since last episode, uh, I've got an iron chest plate and I also did a little bit of wood farming and some just general things around the village. Um, but not much has changed yet. But in today's episode, I think what we're going to do is go ahead and get a mine set up. And the way that I'm going, I've already found the location for that. And it's going to be down here. Got to be careful not to accidentally jump in it. It's over here. So I found this. I was falling in it. And um, I think that'll be a good place for a mine. And we're also going to explore some of the area nearby because... There, there's some, there's more stuff around that we haven't seen, like, just up there is an igloo on the side of a mountain. <laughs> so we're going to still explore a little bit some today, and then we're also going to be building that mine. And because I want to make sure everything is decorated and, and usable, and we're also going to go talk about some of the plans for the village. Um, this is still just a starting area. But it is going to be nice to have it look good. Okay. Uh, I'm probably just cut now to when I have the mines, like some progress done there. So here we go. Something else that I have done is I've gotten some cows and some sheep together. I didn't need to breed that last one. Um, so we can finally have a good food source. Um, now with the cows, I found one over here and then one way over there with none in between. But I'm going to be mostly focusing on the cows getting their numbers up because we need something better than carrots. We may also add some pigs uh, to this though because there are a few around. So right now I'm just waiting for oak to grow and then we can properly start on the mines so while i'm working on this this wandering trader came over and scared the life out of me um it's been a little bit since the last uh time i was i showed this off or i was talking about this rather we did it live no it's about to pop off oh then it's going to die wait it didn't die how did it not die did it not take fall damage whatever anyway yeah, that guy came over and scared the life out of me earlier. Um, but so far, I've cleared away this mountain a little bit, or the, the hill a little bit, and I've placed this here. Currently working on this. This middle section will have a minecart track, and it's going to go all the way down below, sometimes digging into the walls. It's just I didn't have a lot of room here. Um, I'm probably going to kill this dude, <laughs> but yeah, this is what I have so far. And then this area here is going to be covered up probably with slabs. It's just, I don't have enough oak right now. I'll keep on working on this and show you once I've gotten a little bit more progress done, or if I pummel uh, plummet to my death, <laughs> because that has almost happened a couple of times. Not a lot of progress has been made since then, besides some digging out and, um, some wood gathering so i think what we're going to do is uh put this on pause for now and continue it later um but for now what we're going to do is go ahead and explore a little bit and later on i'll come back with a much larger update on that mine so let me go put up my all my junk and we can go exploring. All right, we're back and let's go ahead and check out the igloo up, up here and just get a general idea of what's going on over there. I don't really think there's going to be anything in the igloo, but I still want to check it out. There are a lot of horses around and I would like to tame one eventually. I just need a saddle for that oh this is the uh powdered snow <laughs> um 
Is that... What was that? Is that a pink sheep or a pig up there? You know what? I can already tell you that this isn't a an important one. Because we have seen cobblestone coming out the bottom. Or not cobblestone, stone bricks coming out the bottom. But I need to see what that was now. That was a pig. Why is there a pig up there? Some more horses and... Ooh, more emerald. I'm going to leave that emerald. Unless if I... Why is there a cat all the way up here? Why are you here? Okay, now let's see. Which... Do they have... That's interesting. Do they have... Wait, what, what do they have there? Can't tell if they have a Lays or they have Iron Golems. Okay, I'm going to hope that it's a Lays. I actually haven't gotten to play around with them that much. Okay, another cat. Why are there so many cats? Um, you know, And there really haven't been any inside the village that I'm at. Let's be careful. <laughs> So, let's go the other direction, or up there, maybe? Um, I think I want to head that way, because I think the ocean was that way, if I remember right. Although, I do see a giant patch of powdered snow there, which I might actually go and clear out sometime, because I was thinking about making a little snow moat, powdered snow moat, around this town. This town, we have, I have a couple plans for. I think... If I stream, I might, the next stream that I have in this world, I might spend locking it down a little bit better. Yeah, speaking of town, there's another one. Also, yeah, there is the ocean. So, I, I know I want to build by the ocean, but I don't think I want to build my starter base and the permanent base so close to each other. Um, I know I'm going to need mangrove wood for my permanent base. Because... It's really pretty. That That's already the only reason. Iron Golem, what are you doing so far away from the village? Um, oh, wait. Okay, there is a house there. A little seaside town, though. Well, this village is a lot smaller. I don't really see anything that would probably be of value here. Although, I am... Nope, no house down there. That'd be funny. Well, let me see. Go raid houses and see if there's anything interesting in any of them. Uh, I'll come back when I find something. Well, the village looks pretty boring. I only got three, uh, six bread from it. But this cave looks interesting. Oh, wow. You can see it come out the other side, too. Oh, that's really cool. Hmm. That's a mine shaft. I think that's glow squid down there. Like all the way down there. Okay, well, we'll have to remember this for the future. Yep, that's definitely glow squid down there. We'll have to remember that for the future because that that's that's pretty interesting. Although I do see sand, which means beach biome, which means I can finally get myself a helmet. Um, I know last episode, when, while speaking, I hadn't quite decided yet what I was going to do about the chest plate. But I think I will allow any chest plate as long as... Um, like, even in, after I get an elytra. And just switch between the two as needed. But the question is... Is there... There are turtles. Perfect. Then the day is ending. I need to set up sugarcane. I don't even know if I have sugarcane. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Well, we have turtles. That's the good thing. Let me go back to that. Let me cut down this tree, and... Then we can, um... Go ahead and make sure none of the turtles swim away. So, in my opinion, the crafting recipe for the oak fence and the fence gate is backwards. Like, it fits the items, but I don't think it fits the actual block.
Keep. Oh. Well. Since it's come to this. Turtle boats. Also, there's a baby turtle there. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to head back now and hopefully not die along the way. Um, but yeah, and then I'll come back down. Actually, no, I'll just stay in this village for a little bit because I have everything I need. And I'll, I'll just go ahead and get myself my turtle helmet. Uh, that is actually something I've been needing anyway. Excuse me, villager, can I borrow this bed from you? Thank you. I don't think they're very pleased about me taking their bed. I guess this is also my opportunity to get some kelp because it is pretty good as a fuel source. Let's just try not to drown. And I'm going to go ahead and breed up the turtles. The only problem is the eggs, I think, only hatch at night time, and uh, also it's raining. That That is also a problem. I did make a brown brown bed, not brown, uh, gray or light gray bed, I don't know. I made this bed, light gray. Um, and that is, um, that's what I'm going to do. I got to get some blocks, though, so that I can, like not be killed by mobs so i'm going to just grab some dirt and make a little dirt hut three eggs i'm going to go ahead and block these off i also collected a little bit of sand and finally that turtle laid some eggs i couldn't find a level spot i don't think and then we're gonna build this up another layer these zombies will try to smash the eggs and just place a torch there. And I'm going to need more dirt, but I'm going to do the same thing over here with these two. Now, how did you manage that? That's that's my question. How, how did you manage that? Hmm. And if I fix that, that's going to make all this land around it collapse. Well, I guess it's just gonna stay now i could be completely wrong about this but i think if i surround this like or if it's not on a sand block and i were to trap it like that it will not be able to hatch that's at least what i'm hoping because if so then i can just come back in the future with silk touch and that would be great one of the eggs just cracked so and there are monsters nearby mm. well i'm trapped here but one of the eggs did just crack. We'll come back when I can get out. <laughs> out of my hole that I made. And if I don't get the scoops right now, I think what I'm going to do is wait till I get silk touch because um this is a little precarious. <laughs> and and also just because this is really inconvenient. <laughs> Looks like we were able to safely ex escape, although I did think, uh, yeah, there's a creeper over here. But, so I'll go ahead and take care of that. Okay, well, you know what? It's taken care of. <laughs> I don't have to deal with it anymore. Um, sandstone. Whatever. Um, let's see. Those didn't crack. Oh. Oh, they've only cracked once, and they had to crack three times. Yeah, I think I'm just going to wait. At least until I have a bow. <laughs> um, and I'll come back with more resources. Uh, for now, let's go ahead and get back to um, the mine build. And yeah, yeah, let's go ahead and get back to the mines. Since my last clip, I've done quite a bit of work. I streamed some and also got this area done, at least for now. So let me go ahead and show this off. So up here we have a platform 
and this will have a railing across as well and stuff like that and I'll probably hold on let me turn that down this will probably have uh, the railing continue up here and go to like I'm thinking about putting blacksmiths over there and stuff like that to take care of the iron and also like masons and stuff like that this hold here by the way is for next episode but anyway so let's go down here and here's the path i think this was here last time i showed it off um and i decided to just end it off here for now because looking farther down it just looks rather scary and i'd rather not deal with that right now uh maybe when i have better armor and stuff i'll be able to go down there but for now what we're just going to do is do something in here next episode and also work on the village some until i can get geared up get some enchantments going and you know not have to worry about being one shot other things that i've done is i placed a wall around the village it's not like solid but it'll keep uh mobs out except for spiders which is actually is useful for me i need more string and I tamed one of the cats that we saw earlier. I kind of forgot about the first one. So I just got the second one. Um, that was a little bit farther on that mountain. Thankfully it was still around. That also has to do with what we're, what we're doing next episode. Um, but on stream we figured out what we're going to do. What path we're going to do. Or about what path. And stuff like that. So we'll be able to get started on that in the next episode next couple episodes uh next we just have a few things we gotta take care of first so that way we're not using stone tools all the time thank you for watching and i hope you enjoyed episode two of my series um let me know what you want me to do in this series i have plans but i also am not afraid of deviating from them and doing something a little bit more fun um or just a little bit weird so just, yeah just let me know what you want me to do give me any suggestions uh for how i can make my videos better and stuff like that till next time bye